Hello, welcome. In this video, I am going to just show you the basic details of integration we created. Integration metadata, integration URL, everything I will show you in this integration. So suppose I have created this integration. This integration is going to get a request payload in the in the request payload and returning back the response payload. And how you can get the metadata of the integration, everything I will show you. So right now this integration is in configure status. So let me activate this integration first. Then only we can we can move for uh, running the integration, right? So first I will activate the integration. So once the integration will be acti activated, we will move to the running the integration. So here you can see once you will move to the run integration. Here you can see this is the integration details where we are running. So you can see this is the URI of the integration. So we created this integration and in the integration we have URI. What's the method for the integration? You can see method for the integration is post. These all are the configuration details, right? And what's the URI parameters? For this integration, we don't have any URI parameters. If we have any URI parameter for the integration, uh, let me show you the URI parameters from where you can get that one. So if we will move to the integration again here, um, I create a review parameter. So let me configure. I will show you this one. And here, once I will move here, you can see if any integration have any URI parameters, that URI parameters will be reflected here in this section URI parameters. Right now, in the integration, we don't have URI parameters, that's why it's showing not any value. The request doesn't have any URI parameters. But in the integration, the second integration XXAD review parameters, we have the URI parameters. Right? So now, if you will see the first URI parameters, we are able to see, right? Now, if you will see, suppose if you want to see the header of the the integration header of this the this integration API, just click here. You can see we have default header as I served as application JSON and the context type as application JSON. But here, if you will see in this integration, in header we don't have anything. Why we don't have anything? Header is mostly related to the request and the response payload. And in the integration that is XXAD review, we don't have any request and response payload. So how you can find that request and response payload? So if you will click on the request body, you can see we don't have this request doesn't have request body. And but if in the integration that XXAD request and response payload, if you will see the body, we have the request payload. So this is the request payload we have to pass while running the integration. That's why based on the request payload, we have the header details except as application JSON and the context type as application JSON because of the data type or the format of the, the values payload is JSON. So this is the basic and from where you can get the response body. So you can see this is the response in the response right now. We don't have any values because when we will run the integration, then only it will show the body. So here, suppose if I click here in the run integration, it will show the response body. So in this response body, we have this is the value and this value is called as the response payload. This is the response payload. This is the request payload we have in the integration. This is the request payload. In the request payload, we are passing some values. A same based on that value, whatever operation we are going to perform, that will be reflected in the response payload. If we have configured the response payload for our integration. For each and every integration, we have instance ID. You can see this is the instance ID we got while running the integration. The same way instance ID we can have right now. You can see in this integration, we don't have instance ID because this integration have not run yet. So once I will run the integration, it will generate the instance ID. That instance ID will be reflected here. You can see. This is the instance ID. This is in the payload of the integration. And this is the URIs as I told you that one. URI parameters always reflect in the URI values only, URL only. So suppose in P1 I pass 10, you can see 10 and 20 will be reflect in the URL only. And how we can get the data, get the details related to the API. So suppose this is our integration and I want to get the details. So here you can see we have endpoint metadata. Once you will click here in the endpoint metadata, you can get all the details related to the, the integration. So you can see this is the endpoint URL. Or we can say this is the complete URL for the, our integration. Suppose I want to run this integration from any third party application. What I will do, I will ask the third party system to use this REST API. Use this integration URL to trigger the integration from any other system. 
and what will be the request and response payload simple payload you can see here in the heaven resource or request response body request and the response here you can see method as post request as a media as application json and the request sample is the sample request this one and in response you can see application as application json as media and response type this one the same value we have here so all the metadata details you can find from here only and we have some details related to the, the api the integration we created all these things so this is the basic detail we can get from here only if you want to track the integration we want to check the integration which we have run earlier all these things by clicking on the tracking incidents we can get details from here only so once you will click the integration task will be moved to the instance of the observ observability and here you can see we run this integration twice so all you this you can see here only this is a filter added for the integration once i will remove the filter all the integration run on this instance will show here only and if you want to see the log message just click here in the i icon you can see the log messages messages this is the basic navigation from where we can identify we can check the integration details in details integration again i will come back to the integration only so this is the basic way how we can identify the url and all the details of the integration now suppose we have to test our integration from any third party system and all how we can do so suppose this is our integration and once we will move to the running the integration you can see this is the integration details this is the integration url this is the, the request payload and the response payload we will get here the same thing how we can test from the another application so for that we need to get the url the complete url for the integration so whenever we are saying it created the rest integration it means that we created the rest api so from where we will get the metadata so once you will click here endpoint metadata this is the url so this is the url that can be useful from the third party application to running this integration to run the integration we require that url right so what we will do we will use that url in the in the postman application to run so here i will create a new request in the postman and here i will pass the api that the details this is our integration instance id in instance details you can say this is our integration details that the request payload i got from the metadata endpoint here only this one for testing the integration i i pass this one in in the postman and what is the method method is the post same you can find here only the method as post so i will select the method as post here once i selected the method we have selected given the url now we have to provide the request payload as we know that this integration have the request payload so i will copy this request payload sample from here or you can copy the sample payload from here only now here in the body we have to select that is raw and in raw we have to select the sample as json and here we will pass and here we have to provide the values as suppose 20 and 60 and when i will run the click on the send it will execute this api pass this to value but before going to run the integration we have to add the authentication in the authentication we have to given the user id password of the integration instance right so this is the integration the user which for which user we have we have uh, log into this integration instance we have to provide the user and password for that instance only so my user is oracle apps so i have given this one for oracle apps and given the password now we have already the payload and once i will click on that whatever value we are getting here from here you can see that the 250 if i will pass here 20 and the 50 whatever value i will get from here on in response payload same value we can get as 70 we can get from here only so just click on the same you can see it's returned back the response as 70 if we pass 120 plus 500 it will return back the 620 you can see this is the way how you can test your api rest integration if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching